gosh. Talking crap on these stupid clubs, <laughs> but they're fire. This is my new set of clubs. I'm about to go two under. I could go two under through three. Welcome back. We're back with another GM Golf video today. We're starting it in a different setting. We got Colin on the camera, and in today's video, we're gonna be vlogging a lot. We're gonna be vlogging trying to find the cheapest set of golf clubs in the world. Lots of chicken. Garrett, and two cups for water, please. That's my name, too. No way. Yeah. What's up, Garrett? <laughs> How's it going? We love to see it. Do you watch your team? <laughs> That's what we love to see, man. I don't know why we're doing this intro in a freaking Wendy's, but today we're gonna be traveling through pretty much all of Dallas. We're gonna be searching for the cheapest golf clubs we can possibly find and prove to you guys that you don't have to have a lot of money to play this game of golf. I think we can find clubs for under five bucks. I know you guys really do like it when we try and do these budget golf challenges, so that's what we're doing in today's video. We've arrived at the Goodwill store, guys. Hopefully we can find something. Goodwill tends to have some of the craziest deals you've ever seen. What's also gonna be really cool in this video is we're gonna be able to see if it really affects our game that much. Are we still gonna be able to shoot under par or right around par or still play a good round of golf? We're in the right spot. The X marks the spot. this be hit? Dude, this could be the worst set of golf clubs I've ever seen. This is gonna be a challenge. Here, there's more clubs down here. This video could be changed to playing with the worst golf clubs we can find. I've never seen a club have dimples. <laughs> okay, we might change this video up entirely. Obviously, we we're trying to play for super cheap. I would assume we're gonna tackle both tasks here. Maybe I'm wrong, but these look like probably some of the worst clubs I've ever seen in my life. Is there even a putter in that set? We need to find a putter. Let's just go add a putter. <laughs> That's all I've got. These literally are the worst golf clubs in the world. I think it, it matches the fit. I mean, it matches the merch. Look at that. So I think we found our set of clubs. We got a six wood, we got a five wood, two drivers, a three wood, a seven wood. I don't know what that is. I literally don't. I think these literally are the worst golf clubs I've ever seen in my life. So, we can confidently title this video the worst clubs in the world. You guys let me know if you've seen worse golf clubs than these, and if you have, let me know what type of clubs they are, maybe I'll go and buy them. This is gonna be interesting, guys. I wanna see if we can shoot under par today. I think it's possible. We'll have to find out. That bag? Dude, <laughs> actually kinda... Kinda clean. I mean... Kinda matches my outfit. Matches the olive green, cop the merch. <laughs> <laughs> matches the Jeep. We got a full set of clubs for under 50 bucks. Like, you can play golf for cheap, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it going? Yeah, it is going. We've made it to the course, guys. What are you, you haven't even shown me these clubs. I just bought them, okay? You have two one club behind. What does that even mean? They're drivers. We're gonna go through each club. Steve and I are gonna be the only ones who are in today's video because Matt and Micah, they're busy with like their girls or something. But Steve and I are single out here, so we just film all the time. I'm trying to have a match in this video. Oh, we're not trying to scramble it up. I mean, we're trying to have a match. I'm trying to have it entertaining. Anyways, we're back out here at Coyote Ridge and we're gonna be playing four holes in this video. We're gonna have like a little match with these clubs. Here's the deal. My guess is that these are literally the worst golf clubs in the world. So first off, show them the clubs, okay? All right, so this is the first club, DX Oversize. <laughs> That sounds, okay, that's the driver. Then we got this putter that looks like it was made in 1437. Okay, this I actually can use. It's yeah, like a what chip. What is it though? It's like a, around the green, a chippy. It's like a chipper, but it's also an iron, so. It's that. called a chipper. Okay, I got it. Then we got McGregor six irons. These are women's clubs. <laughs> hey, we got a three wood, five wood, and a tailor-made. This is actually nicer than this. So I'm gonna hit this up first, Steve. We don't have anything around the green. You have... We got a niner, that's it. Right. Then we got a seven wood and a nine wood, bro. There's some good options. I wanna go first, because I feel like I can play really good. How many strokes do you want? I don't want any, I don't need any. So we're back out here at Coyote Ridge. This is, honestly, this is probably gonna be a really fun challenge. Look at the zoom on this camera. I stole it from Colin today. I got your golf ball and then I got mine. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 that's the only way I can make this fair. <laughs> so, Steven's using a fully legal golf ball. That is how it'd be sometimes. Here we go, driver on the first hole for Steven, 300 yards. Uh, I forgot how to zoom. I have, I'm in a little tree trouble, but I still can get it. I green. didn't know how to zoom that's for some fine. reason. I went out just a hair left. Honestly, been there a lot, I'll stay there. All right, this driver is really light. Oh my gosh. That's on the green 100% of the time. Here you go. Dude, 
15 yards out. Did wow. You zoom in on that? Yeah, I actually got it for. Oh my. First impression, that driver. I knew picking that Taylor made driver was the play because I've actually heard that that's probably one of the better drivers they made back in the day. I hit that sure. I got like a 30 yard shot into the green, but it is kind of weird to put it in perspective. Normally I hit three wood onto the screen or maybe even over the green sometimes. But today with that driver, it being super old, I'm actually still short of the green, which is crazy, but that's just how it's gonna be today with the clubs we we're using. Steven is all the way over here on the left side. He's gonna take relief from the cart path. He's gotta go over this tree and hit a flop shot with a nine iron and the green, you, that's how you zoom. Okay, here we go, Steven up. Oh, okay. That's gonna be a little short right of green, but he hit that one good, guys. With these clubs today, I think with my golf game recently, I think I can shoot under par. That's my prediction. We got four holes to do it. I think it's definitely possible. This is what I'm looking at to get up and down. Or my birdie, which would be crazy. This nine iron is not a nine iron. This is like a gap wedge. Steven, right over here on the right side. I guess we are playing it up in today's video. I Dude, respect it. If I'm not it. playing it up, then I'm not in the video. <laughs> Steven with, we'll just call it the gap wedge. Take a lap. All right. The other thing I want this video to do is like, even for me, especially, I want to show you guys that it's not all about the equipment. Cause I hear a lot of people blaming the equipment, blaming the clubs they have, saying if they had better clubs, they'd be a better golfer and stuff like that, which yes, you obviously can play better with the new technology, but like we're using old clubs and I still got this for birdie. He's got a par putt. So par, yeah, that's how good I am. I technically don't have my own club. So those would still be better than mine. You want, you want them after this? 15,000 likes and I'll steal them from you. Nice approach. These greens are great. It's for par. All right. I'm in for par. Not upset with that. It is what it is. Steven here down the hill. Four is par. No, he did not. And he ties it up through one. Where is this guy's golf game coming from? Literally, at 15,000 likes, and I'm giving Steven these clubs that I bought. 15,000 likes. So if you guys want to see Steven's first set of golf, imagine your bag what's in the bag is this. Hey, I will put some of these clubs in my bag when I get my bag. These are sick. The putter actually kind of pure. On hole two, par five here. I got the tailor-made driver again. I think it's the play. Dog leg left, par five. I'm gonna send this one a little harder than I did on the first hole. I like that idea. Swing hard. baby draw straight over that bunker dude look at that i'm putting this in my bag i will say my driver goes like 60 yards farther than this but if you're trying to hit it straight this taylor made driver might be the play it'll pull here we go taylor made driver here steven rocket it down the middle i like it oh and it, it goes straight obviously i wonder why sorry the camera's the camera struggled to focus on the zoom in, but he's gonna be left in those trees over there. Right where he's aiming. Honestly, I can still get that up and down because Garrett, you're not in the best position either. I'm in the fairway. Shut up. It's all right, then shut up. Huge shout out to GM Attire for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are trash. Uh, anyway. Actually, but if you guys want to check them out, they do have some quality clothes. They might be trash, but they're kind of quality at the same time. Look at this. Wearing this t-shirt, got the GM hat. GMAttire.com. Link will be in the description. Holy crap! All right, first of all, that house, kind of beautiful. I love it, okay? You got a pool, it's awesome. So this is where Steven's balling it up. Left rough, but I did pound that like insane. Being in that position is ideal. This is a nine iron hybrid? <laughs> it's a nine wood. He's got a, literally, the clubs we were playing with today are insane. Trying to hit the nine wood over the tree. I respect the grind. And he hit it just so dead straight. I wonder why that ball flies straight every time. That's so weird. I gotta put a cut on it. Where'd they go? In the, <laughs> in the trees. You love to see it. I might have said these are the worst clubs in the world, but I'm kind of hitting them well. So this might just be my new set of clubs. Normally I'm like 150 into this green. What am I gonna use? I got this six iron actually. That literally looks like an eight iron, so. I feel like the irons are so messed up. Dude, these are trash. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> These okay. You let go of the club. Let's see where it lands. I got quick. Just left. That is probably in the bunker. <laughs> it's over the bunker. Yeah. yeah. Dang. I hit that one solid. Just way left. Guys, this is what Steven's looking at right here. He's dialed in on another level. What he's got to get up and down for his birdie. And I have the chipper. I'm just gonna shoot the gap and let it roll up on the green. Shoot the gap. T-shirt idea. Didn't really keep it low, but. No. 
It so got through all the trees. That's fine. I can still make a part, and I know you're not making one. Cool. Garrett just left of the green. He has an eagle chip. I have a birdie chip on the opposite spectrum of the horse. You do? At a cord, driving a Porsche. Here we go. Not yet. <laughs> That's a horse sound. Really? <laughs> no way. I got this chipper, okay? I've never seen a club called a chipper, but it's a chipper. If you make this eagle, I'll jump in the sand bunker. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never- Okay, first of all, the bet of you jumping in a sand bunker is kind of pointless, like what's that gonna do? But I thought I made that, guys. I'm in with Birdie. The chipper and these clubs are actually fire. I don't understand it, but- I think this is my new set of clubs. I went and searched for the world's worst, and I would say, like, technically speaking, these are probably some of the worst golf clubs I've ever played with, but maybe we're just playing good. That might honestly just be it. There we go, see if we can get up and down for his par. that one a little hard I got some work there. he's got that first par I saw him make a par putt on the last hole that was unrealistic so hopefully he can do that again <laughs> if I make this I'll buy you a set of shoes anything under 200 bucks in the Nike store Steven gets bought if he makes this I don't like you why do I make stupid bets like that now we got to go to the Nike store and I got to buy him stuff Buying me some new and, shoes. You uh, always make fun of the mustard stains. Yeah, <laughs> you actually have mustard stains. I on literally do have a mustard stain. Wow, it's the mustard stain 3000s, and we're about to upgrade them to like some I don't know, gray, yes. white, or black. They're gonna be white out, but I'm one behind Gary going into a par three. Why are you putting so good? I thought for sure you were gonna miss. I that. literally got a putting lesson from Tig yesterday. <laughs> no, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Why did I make that bet? Guys, pull it up to the second to last hole of the challenge. This one, I swear it. Why? The water scares you? No, the the bet. I literally have to take Steven to go get a new pair of shoes for under 200 bucks at the Nike store. Dude, so it's gonna be 199. You're literally gonna you're gonna push it out to the 200 buck mark. All right, I'm down. Okay, so the question is, this is a five wood iron. What the heck this is? Okay, we got 210 yards. Five wood iron. I don't know if a nine. It's a five wood. Might be a little much, but we'll see. Oh no, he got quick. He literally the water gets him. Oh, okay. Blame it on the player, not the clubs, I right? I got the nine wood. I don't know how far the nine wood's gonna go. This is gonna go insanely high though, guys. Oh gosh. Did you zoom in on that? Yeah, that's a birdie pot. Talking crap on these stupid clubs. <laughs> But they're fire. This is my new set of clubs. I'm about to go two under. I could go two under through three with one hole left. I just hit a dirty shot. All right, so there is a drop zone for Steven on this hole, luckily. They actually built this just for Steven. They saw the slices. They saw how many times he hit it in the water, and they're like, you know what? I think we should make it fair for the guy. As soon as they heard me moving down to Dallas, they put a drop zone right there. Steven with the, we'll just call it a gap wedge again, 85 yards from the pin. See if you can dial it in here, guys. And that's a little short. I don't think he quite calculated the distance right. Steven's favorite club. He's chipping with his chipper. I don't understand life right now or golf. It was fading right at the pin. Got a little bounce right. And this is what I'm looking at. For my birdie. Steven found a random ball in the fairway. Not sure whose that is, but he's going to go ahead and hit that for fun. Titleist Pro V. That's nice. For his double. Steven, Steven's game, I actually really do love where his game is at. Are you gonna put one of these clubs in your bag? This one can definitely be put in the bag because I never know how to chip, so that just fixes everything because it looks like a putter. For his double. Where are, we going? <laughs> uh, where are you going? You think you're good? If Garrett makes his birdie, he will go two under through the day. <sighs> Green sometimes just get me. I'll, I'll give this to you. That's right. your triple. That's, I mean, it's a tap in. Well, Steven's in for triple. Guys, after hole three, we're headed into the last hole of this challenge. Oh. Overall review of these clubs. Once again, I thought these were gonna be like the world's worst golf clubs. We're still titling it that, but for some reason, I'm playing really good with these clubs. So I might just go ahead and put them in the bag. If you guys don't already know this, I hit over 400 yard drive on this hole. That was crazy. This water, I would rate this water about 10 out of 10. Core Hydration, sponsor us. Please. Walking up to the tee box here, this is what we're looking at. First of all, the weather is beautiful right now. It always is towards the end of the day here in Dallas. 
It's par five. Yeah, Steven has honors because he is winning currently at three over. I'm one under. I want to shoot two under. I, I really do. I think I can, guys. Oh my perfect stinger. A little right, but it's gonna be fine. You know where that's at? I got it. I'm gonna send it over over those trees onto the green. You can hit a driver again onto the green. Not the best drive, but it's out there a little bit. Uh oh. Is it gonna stay up? Uh, I hit it good. It is gonna be in the rough a little bit. I pure that though. I got a shot. So Steven, once again, he is playing it up. He, look at this. Okay, there's water over these trees, 246 yards. He's got the other driver, okay? I think this one's gonna be able to put a little more spin on it and get a little more loft. We're going for it, boys. This is what you wanna see. Oh, it's gonna be in the right. I think it's, it's a be, little too far right. It's gonna be on the tee box on the freaking right side. We'll see, he hit that one a little right, but he did pure it. It was pure, it sounded pure. Ooh, pins left. front left. Guys, I wanna go fishing. You guys wanna go fishing with me? You wanna go fishing? Exactly. All right, I got six iron here, guys. Are you going for it? Oh yeah, I got 190. It's going out left, that's just a safe shot. These clubs are definitely weird, but that was hit well. So it's gonna be left. All right, I don't know if you can see, Garrett is literally on the other side of this. I'm getting on this side so I can see the flight, but he's gonna try to hit it over the trees. All right, as you can see, a little high, went into the bunker. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Didn't really know how to judge it, to be honest, but if I get this up and down four par, I finish out at one under, which would be kind of clutch. And that's gonna release into the hole. And just like that, two under. <laughs> what? I, Come on. I, I really, wow, Steven. What do you have to say? I, I don't know what to say. I just- Chipped in for uh, a birdie. I feel like I should finish this nine out quick. If I play speed golf, would you be down? Can I? Yeah. Please. I'll play super fast, I swear. Yeah. I'll finish in 30 minutes, less, All right. tops. All right, so listen up guys, here's the deal. Through four holes, I'm two under. My record on nine is five under. I'm just gonna keep playing a few more holes for the camera. All right, All right so Steven's gonna keep playing as well. I know we originally said this was a four hole challenge. I know Steven technically lost. He might've hit his ball in the water. We never- You trying to scramble? I gotta play my own ball, but you can hit by my shot. All right, guys, hole five here, par four. I got the TaylorMade driver again. I'm gonna try and dial it in here. Just, just that's just over that bunker. I crushed that. Not Dude, bad. this club is nice. It is a beautiful day to play some golf. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my stinger! It rolled through the bunker. You love to see it. The nine wood. This nine wood's a fun club to hit. I think that's probably about the right club from here. Here we go. Nine wood in hand, Steven. And he rolled it over the bunker. This could possibly be the last hole I play. That's actually not a bad layup. I got 110 yards. It's going to be an easy uh, gap width with this. That's right at the pin. I think that's going to be a little left, maybe 15, 20 feet. We'll see. I think that one's good. Okay. All right, pulling up to Steven's ball here, just short of the green. This is what I'm looking at, just so you guys know. I got this shot for my birdie and to get it to three under. He's got the gap wedge. It was right at it. It's a little short. He's got a putt. Another birdie putt. Sometimes you just come out and play golf. Sometimes you don't. I usually never come and play golf. Anyways, if you make this, three under. Steams it just left. That's not looking good, guys. You got some meat on the bones. Ah, that was a good putt. Three putt bogey? Guys, my putting sucks. Gotta figure that out. It's all right, though. One under, four holes to play. Steven up the hill for him to make a par. Go. Get up. Ooh. <laughs> After our fifth hole of the day, I'm currently one under. Steven, uh, plus something or other. He's he's a lot over par. Hole six here, guys. Straightaway par four. Once again, I got this TaylorMade driver, and I'm loving the way this thing feels. Hey, thank you. <laughs> he said I want to be on YouTube. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I'm swinging hard here. Well, all right. And you're safe. Well, I hit that good, but it's right. A lot of tree trouble. Lots, a lot. Man, Flopadopolis, Montropolis. I got 90 yards here. Uh, 
You can't really see where it's gonna land, but actually I did see where that landed. We will see, that could be trash. All right, guys, I know I told you I was gonna play nine holes on camera here, but that was only because I was gonna go for my record, and I think my record's kind of out of reach right now. So I think we're gonna finish up the video on this hole just to keep it a little more shorter for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can chip this to get this up and down for par. Appreciate all you guys watching. I might take that back. It depends on if I make this birdie. I had no clue my ball was this close. I thought it was missed the green. I saw it bounce. I knew it would be pretty good. I mean, if I make birdie here. All right, here we go, guys. I gotta trust the putt. Dude, nope, nope, nope. Putt. The putting today. Putting every day recently, bro. You gotta get on the grind. It doesn't count, though. It's all right. My second golfer's on tour. Who? My second golfer. That is about it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, as always, you be sure to stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> Once again, on this channel, I upload five times a week golf content. So if you guys like golf in any way and you want to see a lot of content of golf, be sure to smash that subscribe button, slash it, smash it, or pass it. It doesn't really matter. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy playing with these world's worst golf clubs. I think I shot one under. I could have shot better, but at the end of the day, one under, under par. That was my goal. Just wanted to be under par. Had a pretty dope chip in, so leave a like for that. Um, once again, if you guys did enjoy, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>